This area right here that we riding through is called Zone 4 400 or 400 block. I don't know, I grew up in this area. I don't know, I love it here. Still love it here, even though it can get really ugly sometimes, but it's still beautiful at the same time. That shit's a zoo. It's a zoo, dog. Staying in Kara City is a zoo, bro. You don't know what the hell you're gonna get into. Shit, I went to McDonald's and I seen a nigga get shot. This <laughs> is just crazy shit. Man, I can just think of one sound, that lum, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I describe it out here, man. They call Kara City the zoo because some crazy individuals come out of them. Musically talented, um, athletics. Kara City has an energy that I don't know, that you can't really describe, really. But it's such a big place and so many boroughs in it. It's like, my hood and his hood, they don't like each other. Zone three, niggas do not get along with zone four niggas. And I'm just like, nigga, we all in Kara City. What the f is going on? Any type of outlet, but for me, specifically for music, it was able to get me out of the environment or out of the mentality in which, like, people are bred to be and become coming from, like, an area like this, you know? So thank God for music. As far as like label situations, Florida never had that many like amazing like record labels that was Florida or Miami based. But you know, we had Slip and Slide and we also had Po' Boy Entertainment. Po' Boy is literally this right here, this block. Man, Po' Boy, we started in 99, pretty much some of us were still in high school. No faking, no nothing, man. Just care city, man. This nigga 12 lane used to be around Flo Rider, Rick Ross, Briscoe, all of them triple C's was coming out. Like South Florida music was gooned out as f The first rapper to ever come out of Care City, like to really come out and do it, was Ross. Ross, Flo Rider, Gunplay, all that shit was around that time, you feel me? You got like Flo Rider, which grew up probably like a couple blocks up couple blocks to the right, um, avenues to the right. Who would have thought I would have known somebody at the Macy's parade line, like, you know what I'm saying? But that crap been going on a hundred and something years, man. For our music goals, we took the music game to a whole nother level. What they don't realize, Flo is a, a, a gifted talent, you know what I'm saying? That he's been that way since middle school. And I remember we go in the studio 20 hours a day, every day. <laughs> every day, no days off, Sundays and everything. So hard work gets you anywhere. I started recording music when I was about like nine years old. And, um, E-Class, which was managing Rick Ross and a few other artists at the time, they used to like they used to come and get like a few kids from right here in the neighborhood and stick us in the studio and have us sing over like vocals with children, like because they wanted children vocals. That was a dope time. They inspired me, like they inspired me to actually record music. You gotta always have your old school don't or vert. If you're from Miami and you Miami full time, you got to. From Care City, you gotta have you, you gotta have you a nice vert. That's like that's like a trophy, that's like an accomplishment for a young black male and, and from where I'm from at least, you know. I remember freestyling at Bel Air Academy. That's where that, that was, that's also in Care City. Bel Air Academy is is the only reason why the new youth of Florida rap. Period. They're the only reason why is in its existence of what it is today and how it's being looked at now on a massive level. Bella Academy was special. Every rapper would go there, everybody would be freestyling. It would be a whole bunch of people from like, from Liberty City all the way from Broward, all the way from, it was just like a South Florida thing. When Space Goes Perk came out, that shit changed everything because it allowed like the weirdos to come out. You know what I'm saying? Me, Denzel Curry, Puya, that's what all of us met up. We are the ones that, from of this new age, 2000 generations, that stayed in Florida, made it happen in Florida, and came out of Florida. 12 Lin is one of the hardest rappers you will ever hear in your life. And he was just like, that, I'm finna do some different shit, because everybody's rapping. You know what's crazy? Like, 12 Lin always was different. Like, even when I used to give him tracks and stuff like that when he was young, I used to give him hip hop tracks, he always like, nah, I want something different, I want something more open. I'm like, okay. It always was a melody with him. And if you listen to 12 Lin's music, like, you could hear the stories. Stories are mainly about love and stuff, but sometimes some of his stories be about loss as well. You get me? Like, 12 Lin cuts deep with his music. I'm very grateful and thankful for being from Florida, period, just because of this right here, because of the beach, being able to have a beach in your backyard. 
is because the beach actually saved me. Uh, it was a time in my life where I was going through a really, really deep depression when I really didn't know where my music was going. And the beach kind of helped me get through that. My grandmother was my biggest inspiration when it came to just being involved in the church and the choir. But I wanted to be like the OGs around the neighborhood, so I wanted to be everything but in the church. But seeing my grandmother wasn't having that. She made sure she was in church every Sunday. When I got older, I realized like how how important, I guess, it was. When I, when I knew that I wanted to do music, I knew I had to do something different. I went back to those roots of what my grandmother instilled, which was just sing, sing from, from what you feel, like what you feel inside for God. Like, you know, she was a very religious woman. So I just took all of that and, and, and sing it from the soul. I mean, shit, if you're from Kara City, I wanna hear you make some noise. Cause I think I got a lot of my homies in here. Yeah, if you're from South Florida, just make some noise for yourself. Let me see your hands like this. Follow me. Let me see your rhythm out. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Uh. Boy, be all ready for this evening. Uh, Let's go. We're gonna play a few records for you guys. Hey. Welcome to Rebel Sound Select. Hey. Ooh. See, I wanna dance. Come share this dance with me. Take my hand, baby. Keep my hood in my front lawn. With God dogs, we sleep, no worries. The definition of a Florida boy. Yeah, that beach is in my back, y'all know what. Real talk, like, not trying to sound, you know, but you can really do it, be anything you want, like, you know what I'm saying? What we saw first was the street shit, you know what I'm saying? So we grew up that way first. He, he got an opportunity to grow up directly to music, so he, he was a baby into it, so I don't expect nothing but success from him. But for this hood, he gonna be a worldwide superstar. Macy's Parade. <laughs> yeah.